Okay. Gotta be really quiet. Everybody's asleep. It's time to go out to the garden. It's my favorite time of the morning. Come on, let's go. Well, I wanted to take you out to the garden to let you see what it looks like in the morning. But it's so humid that it steamed up the lens. So we'll have to come back later. Coming out, well, coming out early really didn't work out well for me. I came out here, I wanted to show you what it looks like early, early in the morning. So you could hear all the birds chirping and seeing all the seeds sprouting. But no, the humidity was so bad, it steamed up the lens. Gosh, I hate that. Anyway, it's a little bit later now. And uh, I want to show you what I have going on in the garden. But first, I wanted to explain to some of my gar gardening uh, fans out there who uh, are relatively new. I usually don't plant a vegetable garden in the summer here in Central Florida. It's just too hot and too buggy. So I'm just now getting started. And it's at a time when your gardens are going to start slowing down a little bit. And in another month or so, uh, they'll be ending. So I'm hoping that my garden will kind of fill that gardening void that you'll have uh, during the colder months. So uh, let's take a walk on over to the garden and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, as you can see, I have sort of like a raised bed over here on this side. I added some uh, manure this year and it raised the level of the soil so high that I had to put some boards up to keep it from uh, spilling out into the walkway. Let's start over here. I actually built this trellis. I was so proud of myself. My husband actually stapled the netting onto it. But this netting is really nice. It's just plastic netting. Uh, at first I was concerned about these beans because these are uh, Chinese red long noodle beans. I think that's what they're called. And they really don't have normal tendrils like a regular pole bean does. And I was afraid it wasn't going to be able to climb this netting. But it actually is. Look at this. Can you see how that's going in there? It's the main vine and then it weaves itself through the netting and uh, the leaves kind of anchor it. Kind of interesting. I cannot wait for these things to grow. They're supposed to be super, super long and dark red. The flowers are red. Should be really pretty. Here's where I planted the carrots last week. And I don't have much germination yet. If there's a big to-do about me planting these things, I better get carrots. Some of these might be carrots, yeah, like there and there. So I'm hopeful. Over here, I just planted red romaine lettuce, and I've got a bunch of pepper plants. Hope you can see them in the sun. Is pretty intense right now. Now these last three that you see that are kind of wilted looking, let me tell you about them. These three pepper plants are about a year old and uh, they did really well for me. And then they started slowing down. So I, what I did was I pruned them and I moved them into an area that uh, was sunnier than where I had them originally. I thought they would like the sun, but as it turned out, they really didn't do much of anything. So then I moved them again, I put them over here. But when I moved them this time, I noticed that there was hardly any root ball left at all. I had been putting like a shade cloth over them because every time the sun would come out, they would wilt. And even with the shade cloth, it wasn't helping. So when I dug them up, that's what I saw, there was hardly any root. But I hated to throw them away because they've been trying to hang on for so long. So I put them over here and uh, we'll see what happens. It's not quite as sunny 
and uh, the soil is really, really good. So uh, I'm hoping that they'll, you know, be able to hang in there. I think this is going to be the year of the green bean. I've got lots of them planted everywhere, all along here. And these are the same red ones that I was telling you about earlier. And I have them on this back fence here. I have some cucumber plants over here. Here's my asparagus that I planted, and I'm actually getting some germination already. I guess that's asparagus. I don't know what asparagus looks like when it first comes out. I would think it would be look like a little spear. That could just be weeds, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a cherry tomato planted, and there's another pepper plant. Back there I have okra. Hope you can see, the sun is so bright. And I've got some zucchini, but already it's being eaten up by a, a squash bug of some sort. I'm going to spray that today. And this little tomato plant is a Mr. Stripey. It's uh, yellow with red stripes. The tomato plant, tomatoes are supposed to be uh, pretty colorful. And this is my mango tree. My asparagus is uh, doing okay. I've got some new spears coming up. So tempting to eat them. But I will refrain. Over here I planted some chamomile. And I think I see some seeds have germinated and I planted lemon balm here that just start to come up I don't know if you can see it or not and then over here I planted a lot of beets and they're just coming through it's always so much fun seeing them pop out of the ground over here I have some parsley and some chocolate mint and my catnip plant has just about had it. I really like catnip tea. It's really good for the stomach. And uh, Lord knows I need something for my stomach. I played the marigolds behind it. And this is what's left of my herb garden. I've got rosemary. Try to get out of the light here. It's rosemary and basil, purple basil. Back in all the weeds there is oregano. I've got to get that weeded out. And there's another pepper plant. And that's another one that's a year old. So if they all survive, I have a lot of pepper plants this year. Guess what we're having for dessert tonight? Isn't that a beauty? Ever so right. Let's see if I can twist that off. I might have to get a knife. hard to do with one hand. Well, let's see. There it is. Not a huge one. Isn't that beautiful though? That is going to taste so unbelievably good. Mmm. So nice to grow your own stuff. Now I'm going to try not to get eaten up by fire ants while I do this because this is an area where they've been but I'm going to plant uh, the top of this pineapple right here all you do is you just when you get your pineapple you just twist off the top and then you remove these bottom leaves like that And then you just put it in the ground. At least that's all I do. Putting it right back to where it was before. They're basically an air plant. 
but I do notice that they do respond to good soil. So I think they're half air plant and half soil eaters. 